Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right. So our morning reading this morning will be coming from Romans 5, verse 5. And of course, we know in this week we're talking about the love commandment, that under the new covenant, we too, we have a commandment. What is a commandment? It's a divine law, a charge, decree. It's an order or rule given by one in authority. Who is that one in authority? Jesus. Jesus has given us a new commandment. What is that new commandment? He told us to love one another as he has loved us. My God. And of course, we come to understand this commandment is not optional. It's not up for discussion. Discussion. It's not based upon how you feel. We saw under the old covenant, they had over 613 commandments. But Jesus comes into the new covenant and gives us one, my God. And that's the love as he has loved us, my God. And even as we saw yesterday, love is the fulfillment of all the law. You say, well, Pastor, do I need to teach people not to commit adultery? No, teach them the love commandment. He says, why? Love is the fulfillment of all things. Love fulfills all the law. All the thou shalt not. The thou shalt not uh, commit adultery, uh, not kill and steal and lie and covet. My God, you can't do all those things when you are a good steward of the love commandment. My God. And the only thing God desires for us to go anyone is to love them. My, that's beautiful all by itself. My God. All right, so let's re uh, read Romans 5, verse 5. And it says, And the hope maketh not a shame. Why? Because the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. New Living Translation says, For we know how dearly God loves us, because he has given us the Holy Spirit, to fill our hearts, hear it, with his love, all right? Hear me now. God never asks you to do something without equipping you with the power and the tools to do it first, my God. He's going to equip you with everything you need to do it if he asks you to do it, my God. So God has given us the love commandment and charged us to keep it. But he didn't just leave us in that state, my God. He didn't leave us without help. He gave us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit has come and poured out the love of God on the inside of us. So God gave us the love commandment. And then he, he has given us his love. We're about to keep it with, my God. So there is no such thing as, Pastor, I can't love her. I can't love him. I can't love them. Yes, you can. You have been given the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit has placed God's love on the inside of you. He has given you his love. Oh, my God. God has given you his love to love those around you well. So he didn't just say, you, you keep my commandment. He said, no, I'm going to charge you and command you to keep this commandment. But I'm also going to empower you with my spirit. And the Holy Spirit is going to pour my love on the inside of you so you can use my love. Oh, my Lord. You can use my love to love all those around you. And for that, we say thank you, Lord, my God. So you have supernatural help. You have a supernatural help to love those around you. So don't say you can't love them. Yes, you can. Yes, how can I love them, Pastor? Because God's love has been poured out on the inside of you. Amen? Amen. So let's go ahead and take your meal on this morning. You are equipped to love. <laughs> you might not want to do it, but you are equipped to do it. Bless God. So, Father, we love you. We bless you. We thank you for this. Another opportunity, Father to come before your table to commune with you and one another. And for that, we say thank you. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace and our complete wholeness was upon you and with and by your stripes we were healed, therefore we are healed. And we thank you for it. We do this in remembrance of you, Lord Jesus. We discern your body right now. And we acknowledge, Holy Spirit, that, that every time, Lord Jesus, we take these, uh, we take communion, all the covenant benefits, rights, and privileges are released on the inside of us. And for that, we say thank you. We take right now the bread, we eat all of it. Saying thank you, Jesus. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning holy and blameless. 
the righteousness of God without fault, without blame, in love, all sins forgiven. All sins forgiven. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We do this in remembrance of you. We take the cup. We drink all of it. Hmm. Saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right, let's get our blessing confession in on this morning. The blessing of the Lord is upon me. My family is blessed. My marriage is blessed. My children are blessed. My house is blessed. My body is blessed. My mind is blessed. My finances are blessed. My business is blessed. My church is blessed. Everywhere I go, everything I do is blessed. The blessing of the Lord is working for me now. God has made all grace, every favor, and every earthly blessing abound towards me in abundance on today. Amen. Amen. As always, we encourage you believe it, receive it. The blessing is working for you and your household. Amen. Amen. So, Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you, Father. Father, we thank you for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us, Father. I shout grace, grace to every household that's watching, Father. Father, I thank you for meeting every need of every household with abundance and more than enough in Jesus' name. And I shout grace, grace, Father, to all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies. You are the Lord, our godly healer for us, Father, and you heal them all. We receive it. We have it. We thank you for strength. We thank you for health on today, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, God bless you. We thank you, God, for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow to close out our week. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Everyone have a blessed day in God's presence. Amen. Thank you.